Today we're going to talk about blend modes, but before we get into the blend modes, we need to know a little bit about mixing color with light, or what's also called additive color. So what I've done to, in preparation is I've put three instances of one of my circular objects, actually you'll see that it's the eyeball that I've been using, um, on the stage, and then I've tinted them using the color effects with the three primary colors of light, red, and you can see these primary colors. See, there it is with no tint. If I say tint, and I hold down on the color chip, these three colors, red, green, and blue, are our, are our primary colors in light. So there I've got my red, green, and blue tinted eyeballs so that they look like circles on the stage. And right now they're on a gray background. Um, I'm going to put them on a black background for the moment by changing my stage color to black. And then I'm going to apply a blend mode. Now in order to do this, these must be movie clips. And as movie clips, I have, in addition to the color effect of a graphic, I have these display modes. So again, if I had graphic, no display. If I have movie clip, I do have display mode. So I want to look, take a look at two of them. Um, because when you're mixing color with light, unlike when you're mixing color with paint, when you put colors together, or when you add them together, they increase the brightness and the lightness. So here with my three primary colors, if I add all three of them together, and I have in under my blend effect something called add, so as I add, first I'm adding the red, and when I mix red with green, notice that I get a brighter lighter color which happens to be yellow and when I mix red with blue I get this sort of magenta color although it's not a true magenta but it looks like magenta and it is lighter and brighter than my two primaries let's continue let's add the green so let's change this to add and all we're doing is changing the blend modes and that one isn't affecting anything because it's behind both let's let's add the blue and what we should see is the blue when it mixes with the green gives us this sort of turquoise color and probably most importantly when we have all three light primary light colors added together we get white so unlike when you add pigment and the tent colors um, get darker or duller with light it tends to get brighter and you can even do this with theater spotlights if you shine a bright red green and blue spotlight you will actually get a white light so again, these are our primaries, red, green, and blue, or you've probably heard RGB, that's what that stands for. And then we've also got our secondary colors in light, which is yellow, a mixture of red and green, turquoise, a mixture of green and blue, and this sort of magenta or fuchsia color, which is a mixture of red and blue. All right, so let's take a look at subtract. And to do that, let's change our stage color back to white. And you'll notice that our, our circles have disappeared. They're still there. But let's, uh, let's select them all. And I'm going to change them back to normal for a moment. And then we're going to change them to subtract. So there they are again. Let's do it one at a time. So red, let's change it to subtract. And when we subtract red, notice it's sort of looking quite different. What we're getting is the complementary color within light. So now the complement of the red color is that secondary turquoisey color. The complement of green is not white, but let's come back to that in a second. Oh, I hit add, that's why. <laughs> the complement of green is magenta, and you'll notice too that now when we're adding the colors together, excuse me, I'm saying it backwards, when we're subtracting light, we get darker each time. So you can guess where this is going. When we subtract our last primary color, our center is now black. So subtracting light, or the absence of light, equals darkness, right? No light's on in the room, it's dark. Absence of light is black. And we get our secondary colors from the removal of the colors from the spectrum. Don't worry too much about adding, removing. Obviously, I've goofed that up and made it a little more confusing. But just know that when you add all the colors of light together, you get white. When you subtract all the colors of light, you get black. And then when you do them in pairs, 
of using the primary colors, once again, you're going to end up with the secondary colors on the outer original color and the primary colors where you've subtracted them from each other. Kind of interesting, isn't it? So keep that in mind as we do our next exercise, which is going to be about using these blend modes to create an animated effect.